at Cape Canaveral, another probe into space. Target, the moon. A 52-ton multi-stage rocket combining elements of the Thor ICBM and the Vanguard is ready for firing. On the planned course, the 83-pound Pioneer space probe would closely approach the moon and would be swung into orbit by the moon's own gravity. Two. The vehicle roars aloft at too steep an angle, working more directly against gravity than planned, reaching over 23,000 miles an hour. It carries to nearly 80,000 miles, 30 times as far as ever before. The Pioneer remains man's most resoundingly successful probe into space. At last, the truth about flying saucers, they're real. Just as real as Santa Claus, that's what. And we've got 10,000 Allentown youngsters to back us up. They greeted old St. Nick as he made his first 1957 appearance. Santa greets his greeters with gifts and a gala party, as is his custom. A flying saucer carries lots more Christmas cargo than reindeer. Where are the reindeer? Why, they're back at the North Pole, honey. But don't you cry. Santa is still Santa. Christmas is still Christmas. And kids are still kids. Right up to the minute, both in transportation and in dress, the first ski birds of the season migrate to the Bear Mountain Inn, hopeful of snow. There is no snow in New York, but that's snow, never mind, because the emphasis right now is on fashions. They're all dressed up for snow in their white stag ensembles for winter sportswear, colorful outfits that will light up any festive occasion. Hollywood, California. Two titans of the movie industry go head to head and no one wins. World famous movie star M. Eric McCormack, known affectionately by his fans as Merrick, has reached an impasse in a contract dispute with his longtime boss, Louis Q. Goldstone, head of Goldstone International Pictures, with production complete on Alien Trespass, rumored to be the greatest science fiction movie ever made. It appears a legal showdown will deprive the world of ever seeing it. Louis Q made the announcement at his Hollywood studio this week. It saddens me deeply to announce that Goldstone International is shelving the release of its epic sci-fi picture, Alien Trespass. I'm ordering today that all prints and the negative of the film be destroyed. Mr. Goldstone! Mr. Goldstone! Merrick, seen here in a recent interview with Edwin R. Burroughs, days before he and Goldstone parted ways, has described the movie as his best acting work ever. Tell me about the movie. I'll tell you a little, because uh, Goldie would have my you-know-what. And that's the news from around the world. Dr. Ted Lewis. He's the director of the Bald Mountain Observatory. One big gumdrop. Welcome, Dr. Lewis. Tonight is the height of the meteor showers, the Perseid meteor showers. Is that right? Right. Doctor, would you please tell our audience exactly what are meteors and where do they come from? Well, they could be the debris from comet tails like the Perseids or simply the rocks and dust of worlds that were destroyed long ago. Destroyed worlds? You, you mean like our Earth? Well, yes. <laughs> but don't worry, that's not likely to happen to us anytime soon. Well, that certainly is good news, Doctor. What happens when meteorites don't burn? Instead, crash Stardust. Oh, Ted 
darling, another one. You really must see this. It's breathtaking. In a minute, dear. Doesn't peak till two in the morning anyway. Oh, Ted, another. Nutmeg? I'm the chef around here tonight, remember? Of course you are, darling. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Lana. Mm. 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 Coals ready? Look good. Oh, Ted, look at the big bright one. Penny, please, just be reasonable. Now, look, we, we couldn't possibly love each other anymore on our honeymoon, could we? Right? Nice try, Mr. Perkins. Dick, look, a shooting star. Huh. Quick, make a wish. <clears throat> so, what was your wish? What is it with you guys? Whoa, Penny, what is that? Oh, it's shaking around like it's crazy. Oh, gosh. That's because it's coming straight at us. Oh. Dick, it's going to hit us. Oh, boy. Hurry, Dick, it's getting closer. Okay. Oh, come, on. come on, you piece of junk. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Ah! What on earth was that? Ted? Oh, darn, I'm trying to reach the observatory, but there's no dial tone. The crash must have knocked out the lines. What was it, an asteroid? No, dear, more like an immense meteoroid. Right in our own backyard. I'm going up there. Oh. Lala, this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's molten iron, right? Won't it be a little too hot up there? Like... 2,700 degrees. Why don't you let it cool down until morning? I'll keep you plenty warm until then. Since when did you become an expert on meteoroids? I learned something in those silly classes of yours, remember? Silly, huh? Now get out there and check on those stakes. Oh, no. Marlon! Hey, wake up, you old bag of bones! Do you see that? That's a spaceship, old boy. A real, live, honest to goodness spaceship from outer space, it is. God, I knew it. I knew they'd finally show up. Yeah, I told them. The fools. I knew they were going to come. I know it. Come here, boy. Come here. Come on. Yeah, we got a spaceship to get, huh? Hey. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're going to be famous, you and me. Who? Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, Marlon. 
Oh, that's a sound. Uh, greetings, space brothers from a distant star. Welcome to our planet. Time for your present. Oh, I, I got it, dear. The binoculars are wonderful. Your other present, darling. No, 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 PPP is proper police procedure. PPD is an unknown DOA. Well, I thought that was a PPK. No, PPK is what you do behind a tree after you see a stiff. How'd you pass the exam, anyway? Promise to fix the teacher's parking tickets? Hey, easy on him, Vern. The kid's OK. Ain't that right, Bubba? Huh? Thank you. Come again. Sorry, Darlene. Number five, number two, dry and deadly. Is that you, Tammy? I'm sorry, Sam. All right, so what is it this time, huh? Flat tire? Sick ant, men from Mars, what? This has got to stop to I'm sorry, Sam. Four, five, and six are all yours, honey pie. I'm out of here, Simone. Bye, boys. Hey, Tammy. When are you and I going up to the point? Not a chance, Vernon. Why not, sweetheart? Because you're Vernon, Officer Vernon. <laughs> hey, Tammy, you've been here, what, three years? All that time, I've never seen you with a guy. What's your point? Nothing. I said, what's your point, Vernon? <laughs> what is the point, Lloyd? Hmm? Well, you know. What? Drop it, Bubba. Right, Vern. Cats. Did you see that thing? Wow, it blasted right into the beauty. It, it was crazy. See it, it? It almost hit us up at the point. It passed right over our heads. It, it was unreal. Dick, if my father finds out we went to the point, he'll go ape. Don't sweat it, Queenie. My lips are zipped. So what, what do you think it was, Dickie? Well, well, we couldn't tell. It was... It was huge, and all covered with flames. Hey, Vern's in there? Maybe the egg sucker knows something. Let's go see. Thank you very 
very much. I'm going to call in, Vern. Hey, Vern, did you hear about that big crash up on the Butte? It's Officer Watson to you, cockroach. You're the police. You're supposed to protect us. What if it's a secret commie rocket? Shouldn't you punks be in school? <laughs> Vern, I just called in. Something crashed into the Butte last night. The chief wants us to check it out. Anybody hurt? That's what we're supposed to find out. Come on, let's go. Whatever you say, chief. You rode and stay out of trouble. Man, what a jerk that guy is. Coolie, Dickie. It's his job to suck eggs. So, cats, what are we gonna do about it? Do about what? The crash, the crash. We, we gotta get up there. Sorry, Code, can't. Freddy's Ford just got one of them new Edsels in. Richard, this is the biggest thing ever to hit this nowhere zilch town, and you can't? But it, it's only gonna be there from 10 Dickie, to- Dickie, Edsels will be around forever. This won't. Come on, man, just up there and back, real quick. What could possibly happen? Well, if you want to go that bad to look that pitiful, then okay. Penny, you are the queen. See anything? None of them are rocks. Anything? More rocks close up. A plane crash might still be burning, right? Yeah, probably. So would one of them rockets. You got me. Maybe it is a rocket, Vern. From that test range over in Nevada. They're putting atomic bombs on top of rockets now. Wouldn't want to get near one of those things. All that radiation? No, oh, sir. Radiation? Yeah, I read about it. It's a nasty way to go. First you get real sick, start puking up your guts, and then blood. And you get hives all over your body. It's gross. Real boils. That's enough, Barnes. Well, that's not all, Vern. You know, your hair starts to fall out. You start bleeding out of your nose and mouth. Your skin gets all... Cracked and blarge. Then you die, Vern. Man, oh man. Uh oh. Back up behind those trees. Okay. Cody, they're gonna see us. No, they won't. Let's just go home. Penny, you chickens go if you want to. I'm going up there. Well, come on, Dickie. This could be very, very cool. Uh, we'll just wait for you here. All right, Clyde. Dick, I'm scared. What's wrong, Penny? I don't know what it is. Come here, baby. Penny, there's really nothing to be scared of. Look, we're all alone. No, we're not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there, Officer Barney. Burn? You see that glow? That's a meteor for sure. Got that? That's how meteors glow. There's no crash, there's no bodies. Case closed, let's get back out of here. Uh, Vern, don't you want to nope, check it out? No, do not. Let's go. That's an order. Dick! I saw something in the trees over there. What? I don't see anything. 
Dick, let's just go. Penny, Cody's still out there. Dick, let's go. Penny. Now. You're just imagine. Ah! 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 What is it? I don't know, Penny. I don't know. Oh, no. Not again. Penny, quick, roll up your window and lock your door. Out of here, Penny. Penny, what are you doing here, cockroach? It's free country, Officer Watson. Your little Penny, nose wait. bleed. Officer Cody. Officer Watson. A monster. Yeah. We were attacked by a monster. Yeah, a monster. Yeah, we were, we were in my car up in the trees, and it, it had a it had a big eyeball, and it tried to kill us with a with... a thing, like a big tentacle thing. Yeah, it was real. I swear. <laughs> a monster, Dicky. Officer Watson, you, you have to believe us. You know what I believe? I believe your punk pranks have gone too far this time. What? Last summer, it was the killer with the hook. The year before that, it was Officer, Ghost in the Man. please. Please. It's time you learned your lesson. Get in the car. Officer. Get in the car. Hey, watch it. You too, young lady. <laughs> Not so fast, Watson. I, I know my rights. Yeah, I, oh, I'm, I, I'll get in. I'm, I'm in, I'm in. I'll haul these punks in. You drive their car. Okay, Vern. Thanks a lot, Code. Just staring back, right? Really hate that guy. Not a note, nothing. Look at you. You are Lana. And you are a mess. You are Ted's mate. Of course I am. Ted loves Lana. Lana loves Ted. Mm. Hormonal polarity. Yes, I have heard of this phenomenon. Odd sensation. Call it what you will, dear. Last night was wonderful. Now go clean up, get dressed, and come to breakfast. You are Lana. You must assist me. Really, Ted, you can dress yourself. Men. And if you must go off chasing your meteors in the middle of the night, next time you tell me. I was worried half to death. Size binoculars? No. Oh, Ted, I know how to be careful. Oh, you scientists. Go sit down. Breakfast is ready. <sighs> Ted, I'm going to tell you something Mother said. She said it can happen in a marriage. One morning you just wake up and there's a stranger sitting across from you. I told her it was utter nonsense. Now I'm not so sure. Oh, Ted, are you all right? What is this? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Ted, you stay right there. I'm going to call Dr. Miller. The line is still out. Ted, you must go lie down. What is this called? 
Salt, it's called salt. Salt, this will harm the Gota. You are Lana, you must assist me. Oh, Ted, stop it, you're scaring Ted me. Ted wants you safe. How was breakfast, Chief? Oh, same old slop. Anything up? Uh, old man Wilson called again, screaming about his space, man. <laughs> was he drunk? Of course. And the typewriter needs a new ribbon. Paperwork styles get used to it. Better you than me. In two days, I'm retired. Case closed, as Officer Watson likes to say. Ha! Uh, Vern brought in some kids. Ah. Making a false report to the police. That's a very serious charge, Mr. Perkins. We were attacked, Chief Dawson. We got attacked by a monster. Mm-hmm. That's what it says right here, all right. Attacked by a monster. It looked like a big eyeball with, with a long tentacle thing. Right. It tried to kill us. You have to believe me. I've never been so scared. I'm going to notify your parents. No, don't. no. Please don't. She's up. Just give us a break, Leah. If I ever see any of you in my office again, you'll all need lawyers. You dig me, Mr. O'Hara? Mm-hmm. Get out of here before I change my mind. Ah, yeah, okay, Merlin. Yeah, okay, old hound. Sorry about last night, Space Brothers. I just a little bird shot. No harm done, right? I'll take you to our leader today. I promise. I will. Salt. Uh, it's, uh, it's under there, you know. That. Why don't you go lie down? Salt will protect Lana. You will assist me. Of course I'll assist you. I'll take care of you. Good. We must go. You will drive. Yes, of course I'll drive. Um, we'll go see Dr. Miller. It's Saturday, but... No, no doctor. The Gota. The Gota? What Gota? You need to see Dr. Miller. I must find the Gota before it divides. You need to see the doctor. Ted wants you safe. Stop saying that! I am safe. Ted is not safe. No. Ted is safe. I'm going to get Dr. Miller. You will not assist me? Hey, Toots, do me a favor. Run out to the Gunderson farm and pick me up three dozen eggs. You got time to get out there and back before the lunch crowd. Sure, Sam. Tammy. Gosh, Dr. Lewis, I, I didn't think you remembered me. Ted remembers you. Um, uh, where are you going? That way. To the Butte. C can I give you a lift? I'm, I'm headed that way myself. You were going that way. Oh, ah. Uh, oh, well, a girl can change her mind, can't she? Yes. Minds can be changed. Is something wrong? 
Oh, gosh. Gosh, I'm sorry. I, I know you're married. Yes. Lana is Ted's wife. Please, I don't mean anything by it. I, I was just trying to be... helpful. You will assist me? I'd be happy to, Dr. Lewis. Good. Oh, well, all right then. <laughs> um, Dr. Lewis, can I, can I call you Ted? My name is Burke. Do you want some Rule Aids? I've, I've got some in my purse. Dr. Lewis, can I, Ted, can I ask you a personal question? Yes. At night, when you're looking through your telescope, do you ever wonder what's out there? I mean, what's really out there? I know what is really out there. I suppose you do. But I'm talking about other worlds and civilizations and things. It gives me shivers just to think about it. I get shivers. On Tula Main 4. What's that? It is one of seven ice planets that orbit the neutron star Trixel. Ice planets? You can see to other planets. Wow. <laughs> I never knew you astronomers could do that. I have been to many planets. My home planet is Kodar. It is in the Draco Cluster. Right. What is that thing? It is a biogenic phase disruptor. A what? Is that like some kind of gun or something? Yes. I hope you don't hunt with it. You don't hunt with it, do you? Yes. Well, my gosh, I never thought you'd be the type, Dr. Lewis. The stores are full of meat. You don't have to go around killing defenseless animals. The gota is not defenseless. Goats. You're hunting goats. Gota, not goat. Go to goats, whatever you say. I don't care. It's cruel. It is necessary. In several of your hours, the gota will divide. If it is not stopped before that, it will feed and then multiply exponentially until gotas consume all life on this planet. And you're here to stop it? Yes. I would be called a federal marshal in your world. I enforce security in this quadrant. Leave it on. What for? It's all trash. I want to hear it. I think maybe I got tired blood. No, you've got lazy blood, Bubba. There's a difference. If you have that run-down feeling. Hey, Lloyd, I think maybe I got that run-down feeling all the... Ow! If you so much as touch that radio again, I'm going to throw you in front of the truck and you're going to have a run-over feeling. You hear me? Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd, what was that thing? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Where'd it go? It sure was ugly. What was that? I, I don't know. Let's get back to town. My truck broke down right here in beautiful, bustling Mojave, and I've been stuck here ever since. I finally got a little money saved, and someday I'll move to Sausalito. It's a very hip town, you know. There are a lot of artists out there. And maybe I'll open an art gallery. Gee, I sure can blabber on. You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Yes, I have. Your last sentence was, gee, I sure can blabber on. <laughs> yeah. It's all wishful thinking anyway. Just some pipe dream. No. You will move to Sausalito. You will make art. You will open an art gallery. Really? Now, how do you know all this, pray tell? Because I do. Whoa, whoa. Let's change the subject, OK? Uh, tell me more about your godas. Do they have um, three eyes and six horns? <laughs> no. They are unicellular amphipods with a nucleolytic subdermal membrane and capable of complete chromodynamic distortion. What does all that mean? 
Gotas can make themselves invisible. Invisible? Cool. Gotas are not cool. Their metabolic temperature is 155 of your degrees. Gotas are an aggressive, intelligent, and clever species. This one disabled the plasma injectors on my spacecraft. I was forced to land on your planet. The Gota escaped. So, Gotas can uh, think? Yes. Stop. Stop here. What? Did you see something? No, I sensed it. Over there by that dwelling. We get out here. We? You must come with me. Ted wants you safe. That's sweet of Ted. I want Tammy safe too. Come. Stay behind me. Close. Um, Dr. Lewis, I really don't think we should be here. Stop. Don't move. This is not good. What is not good? It's only a puddle. Somebody spilled something, that's all. Yes, a puddle. So why is a puddle not good? The gota has eaten. It absorbs its prey's nutrients, leaving only water and metabolic residue. What? Humans are mostly water. Humans? That's a person. It was a person. Oh, look at it. That is a mud puddle. It's not a person. Um, Dr. Lewis, Ted, aren't you carrying this gota thing a little bit too far? I mean, you're very creative, and I think it's great that you're rounding up all the bad killer space goats. Quiet. Stay behind me. Oh, this is absurd. What for? Ted wants you safe. Oh, would you please not talk like that? It is beginning to bug me. I think I've had enough of this silly, stupid game. You are safe with me. You keep away. wait until we get to town? No, I can't. Now, please, pull over there by those trees. Oh, you're like a child, Bubba. Now, what was that? <laughs> don't go too far, Bubba. You're too drunk to find your way back. Yeah, don't worry about it, Lloyd. I can handle it, I think. What? Bubba? Are you getting sick, Bubba? What's this mess you left here? science fiction junk. It gives him nightmares. Laura, really, it's important. When will Dr. Miller be back? Oh, it won't be until late. He's gone off to Barstow. Barstow? Will you tell him? Laura, you really bite. What? Kid, you're a hamburger. A monster is, is a pretty hard thing to swallow, Dickie. You know, fine, Cody. Don't believe me. <laughs> when the heck you didn't grow up, Code? The monster did it, Dickie. Dig this, cats. Suppose your monster is real. It is real. Okay, okay, so it's real. 
My old man just got one of them new Polaroid cameras, you know, like instant pictures. We go up there, snap off a few shots of your monster, sell them to the newspapers and get rich, rich, rich. It almost killed us. And so this time we'll be ready for it. With what, a, a paranoid camera? It's, it's a Polaroid, man. Polaroid. So what's it gonna be, Dickie? This is our big chance. Don't blow it, Clyde. I think it's the only way we can prove what happened. I don't believe this. Nothing here now. Looks like your monster's split. Good, let's go home. Hey, I bet the crash and the monster are connected. Yeah. Come on, let's go, let's go up there. No, let's go home. You're nuts, Cody. That's, that's way too far to climb. Too far, please, Diggy. Cody, Doss never finds no, out. About don't this. sweat it, pal. We'll be fine. Wow. What is it? A rocket? Yeah. No, may uh, maybe. I don't know. <sighs> but I do know we're gonna be rich, Dickie. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. Cody, wait. It could be radioactive. What do you think? You got your picture. Let's, let's just split while we still can, okay? Yeah. Right. Come on. Tommy, you are cooked. Now go to your room. No. You are really cruising for a bruising, kiddo. all those horrible movies and now you're scared of monsters. The monster is up in the hole. Oh, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I saw it on TV last week. The guy even had pictures. I still say it's a secret jet the Air Force has. Chief, jets don't fly like that. Jerking around and then suddenly zipping away? I'll jerk some sense into both of you. What we saw out there on the Butte, that was a meteor. Common garden variety meteor. Case closed. Harvey Police, Chief Dawson. Uh-huh. All right, we'll ask around in the neighborhood and call me if you learn anything. Strange. Chief? Yeah, that was Stiles. He found Lloyd Olson's truck abandoned. No sign of him or Bubba. He said the doors were both open and the key was still in the ignition. Only thing around was a couple of big puddles. That's odd. It hasn't rained in months. Harvey, please, Chief Dawson. Whoa, 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 slow down. Who is this? Uh, Laura McBride. What can I do for you, Miss McBride? A monster with a giant eyeball. Look, we're kind of busy here, Miss McBride. All right, 
Doc Miller's house. All right, we'll, we'll send someone out. Yes, 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 of course, right away. Laura McBride is having an emergency. A giant monster, she said. Laura's uh, Susie McBride's kid sister, isn't she? That's, uh, that's one classy jazzy. Watson, you're going out on a call, not a date. Take Stu. I don't need a chaperone. For backup. I don't like what's going on today. Hello? Oh, Mr. Vernon Watson, what seems to be the problem? There's a monster in the house. Really, a big one. I don't know what it is. I've never been so scared. Hey, aren't you Susie McBride's kid sister? What? There's something horrible inside there. Do something. How's Susie doing? She's still hanging out with that insurance jerk. Dr. Lewis? What are you doing? Hey! 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 Ah, oh, you just walked in. I'll tell him. Good news only, Styles. Sorry, Chief. Uh, Ted Lewis stole a car. This is the license. Dr. Lewis from the observatory? The one. Lewis, huh? See, you never know. These eggheads, they seem like they're one step away from the rubber room anyway. <laughs> Bring them in. 10 4, Chief. Unit 2, Unit 2. Go ahead, Unit 2. Chief, we have a PDX. We have a PDX here. A PDX, Officer Barnes, get it right. A PDX. Vern's down. He's down? Yeah, he was there, and, and then there was nothing. Just, just a puddle. Puddle. Yeah, with this gun and badge in it. What should I do now, Chief? Chief?
Chief? I'm sorry about Vernon, Chief. He was a first-rate officer. Yeah. Chief, what could have done this? Folks are saying it must be acid, a psycho killer with acid. What else could it be? Mojave Police, Dawson here. Are you sure? All right, all, all right. Call me if you see anything else. It was Ed Sanders. He spotted Lewis on his property. He said the boob drove all over a stop sign. Oh, Sanders thinks Lewis has some kind of weapon. You think it fires acid? Really, Barnes? I knew I should have never taken this job. What? Town needed a temporary chief for three weeks until they found a real cop. They thought being a dog face in a war was enough qualification for me. Don't worry, they said. Nothing ever happens here, they said. And for five years, nothing did. And then two days before my replacement finally takes over, and we have monsters and killers and men from Mars and God knows what else. Just two lousy, stinking days. Where are you going, Chief? Guess it's time to play cop. I'll stay here. Mommy! Mommy! Betsy? What is it now? Mommy, there's bears out here. They're trying to eat me. Remember what happened to the little boy who cried wolf? But it wasn't a wolf, it was a bear. What love be, guys? Coke. Coke. I'll have an RC Cola. Very funny, Cody. Okay, three Cokes. Well, you sure fool yourself today, mister. You betcha. We're gonna be rich, Tammy. We got a picture of a genuine spaceship. A spaceship? Yeah, that crashed up on the Butte last night. Got a picture of it right here. Well, be careful with that. It's worth a million bucks. Not as good as a monster, but... A monster. A monster, Tammy. We were attacked by a monster this morning. I mean, no one will believe us. Uh, what, what, what did this uh, monster look like? Oh, it was, it was like a, like a big, shimmering, shiny balloon thing with, with a big eyeball. Yeah, it was weird. It was there one minute and then gone. Like, it could just become invisible. Oh, my God. Tammy, do you believe us? Jesus, it's the cops. Tammy, coffee. Chief Dawson, there's something I have to tell you. Later, Tammy. Chief, please. Not now, Tammy. Tammy, more coffee? Hey, Dawson, whatever happened to Vern Watson? I heard he got melted by acid. You're not here, Lloyd. And Bob were missing. And what's this talk about a monster? A monster, Fred? Get real. It's a schizophrenic, manic depressive psychotic. I read all about these sickos. I didn't know you could read. Look, people, listen to me. There are. No psycho killers, no monsters. All we got is a couple of unsolved disappearances, that's all. That's all? Whew. Well, that, that's a relief. Look, just, just stick together. Stay in your homes. You see anything unusual, you report it. And trust me, there's no cause for alarm. Well, it sounds like there's plenty of cause for alarm, yeah. doesn't it? People, yeah. please. Colleen, number five, number two, hot and sweaty. Great speech, Dawson. I feel so much better now. Give them to Tammy Simone. My shift's over. Tammy, get your buns over here. Chief, please listen to me. I know this will sound crazy, but you have to listen to me. Well, crazy's the word for the day. All right, go ahead, Tammy. Chief, the killer is some kind of alien creature. It's called a Goda. It came from the spaceship. You know, that crash on the Butte. Mm. Chief Dawson, please, this is a very dangerous creature. It can think, it can hunt, it's a born killer. Mm -hmm. All it leaves behind is a puddle. The victim's water. 
How'd you know about that? I've seen it. You've seen this thing? Well, no, no, not exactly. Dr. Lewis told me about it. Well, Lewis has gone bananas. Actually, Dr. Lewis is a marshal, a federal marshal from another planet. Another planet. Ah, thanks! Chief! Chief! You're nuts! Lewis is nuts! This whole town! You're all stock raving loco! Go, Henry. We're safer outside with the acid killer. Oh, no, Sam. Where's the bag? It's busted. There's no one on order. Great. Hey, Toots, would you run up the street and pick me up some lard, please? Um, the cheap stuff. I'll mind the store. Great. Come here, Come here boy. Come here. Wilson. Merlin, what's, what's wrong? <laughs> Merlin, it's all right. Cody. Cody, did you hear about Vern? Yeah, I heard. Geez, Code. Your arch enemy's missing. We figured you'd be kicking your heels up with joy. Yeah, yeah, he sucked his last egg, right? Yeah, I guess. Hey, why don't we go to the flicks? Yeah, it's just what you need. Nah, you cats go ahead. Well, come on, Code, my treat. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, why not? Come on. Mommy! Mommy! What is it now, Betsy? There's a monster of one day guy! I told you before to stop making up stories. Now see what you've done. You've gone and scared yourself silly. There's a monster! There are no monsters. You get inside. Now. like that all day. Just, just keep your mind on your work. Sorry, Sam. Ah, uh, this killer thing's getting to your hot toots. Oh, I think we can forget about any dinner crowd in here tonight. All right, I'm going. Uh, sweep up the sidewalk and uh, just straighten up in here before you leave, will you? Right there, Dr. Lewis. You are Stiles. You are a constable. You must assist me. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's exactly why I'm here, Dr. Lewis. Is that a weapon, sir? Yes. All right, Dr. Lewis. Just, uh, just hand me the gun, sir. Why? Because I'm asking you to. I, I, I don't want any. Uh, I don't want any trouble here. Just, just hand it over, nice and slow. No. Now look here, Dr. Lewis. Officer Stiles, Dr. Lewis, what's going on? Get back inside, Tammy. Tammy, the Gota is near. I must find it before it divides. Gota? The monster will be overrun. We'll all be killed. Monster, what are you talking about? Tell him. Your planet will soon be infected with Gotas. They will consume all organic matter until your world is devoid of life. Before it divides, its hunger is massive. It will seek the greatest concentration of prey. You are all in extreme peril. This is crazy. This is crazy, Dr. Lewis. Give me the weapon right now. No, Styles, please. You have to believe him. Now, look here, Dr. Lewis. I've been in this force for 15 years, and I've never used this gun yet. 
Don't let this be the first time. Hand me the weapon. No. Dr. Lewis, please! I must find the Gota. <gasps> Dr. Lewis! Dr. Lewis! Are you hurt bad? I am not Dr. Lewis. I am Arp. I am merely indwelling in Dr. Lewis's body. But this body is damaged. I must return to my ship to repair it. I'll take you. No, I must go alone. Be careful, Tammy. Erp wants you safe. There's that polarity again. Fascinating. That's called obstruction of justice, Tammy. You're in a tub of trouble, girl. Wait for me inside the diner. Unit three. Chief. Chief, are you there? Ted Lewis has gone insane. He's he's armed and dangerous. Chief. What, what, what's going on? Some blast of a day, huh, baby? Monster attack, people getting slimed, spaceship. Dick, please. Sorry. The Blob. Geez, that's all we need right now, to see a monster movie. Come on. Come on. Harvey Police, Dawson here. Chief, it's Lana Lewis. Please, you have to help me. It's Ted. There's something terribly wrong with him. Uh, yes, I know, Mrs. Lewis. He's, um... He's stolen a vehicle and looted a rest. I got my men out looking for him. Listen, I think... I think he has a head injury or something. Please tell your officers not to hurt him. Yes, ma'am. We'll try not to. You'll try? I'm coming down there right away. Mrs. Lewis, I don't think that's a very good... Hello? News just keeps getting better. Lana Lewis is on her way here. Have you found Lewis yet? Styles hasn't, but I expect he'll call in soon. I guess I better look for Lewis myself. Mrs. Lewis thinks he got hit on her head. I say he just flipped out. Well, be nice to her, Bond. She's a little rattled. Yes, sir. Good man. Don't even think about it. I won't.
Jake, I hate these movies. Let's go. Let's see how they get the monster. Just another second. Uh, watch this. I'll bet they flip out and run like sheep. Jake, that's the longest second in history. Let's go, please. Just another second. I'm feeling like I felt in the car this morning. Hmm? When the monster attacked. Where would it go to go? Seeking the greatest concentration of prey. Hey, hey, the theater. Out of here. Okay. It's gone. Dick, where is it? Come on. Go this way. It's a monster, Dickie. Yeah, we know that, you jerk. Oh, no. Is anyone in there? Tammy? Tammy, is that you? Penny? Tammy, the, the monster's in here. It can disappear. It can be anywhere. Yeah, we've met. Tammy, it's, it's hunting us. We keep trying to get out, but it's blocking our path. Kids? Stay cool, I'll be right there. Tammy! Tammy, hurry up! Stay cool, kids. Dick, I'm scared. Where was it last time you saw it? There. Tammy is safe. Thank you. Wow, man, you killed it. Stop, don't touch it. It's not dead. What? It's not dead? No, they're merely in stasis. We must take them back to my ship before they revive. Get those curtains from the door. We'll wrap the goaters in them. I'll get my truck. That was close. Dead? Dead? We must go. Don't you think I'd better? Now. Dr. Lewis, hold it right there. Ted! Ted, you can't! Hold it right there, sir. Ted! Wait! Dr. Wait, Lewis! Ted! Oh! In the name of the law, do not move that truck! Ted! Ted! Barnes, what's going on? It's Lewis, Chief. He's kidnapped Tammy. That's not true. He's just... 
If you know something, kid, you better tell me fast. Now, where'd they go? To the drive-in. Don't mess with me, O'Hara. Where'd they go? They went to the Butte. To the meteor crash. I know it. That's where this all got started. All right, Barnes, you radio Stiles. I think Stiles is dead, Chief. A puddle, just like Vern. They found his car parked near the diner. Good Lord. All right, you, you, and you, Frank. You're all deputized. Get your rifles and you follow me. Yes, Chief. Dawson, it's Ted. Don't you dare hurt him, you hear me? Mrs. Lewis, this is official police business. Now get in the car! This is not good. Oh, please. No more not good. He's driving like a maniac. Dawson. We'll catch him, all right. Barnes, is your revolver loaded? Dawson! There! Turn here! Through that tunnel! But my ship is ahead. Turn here! This is a shortcut to the Butte. It is still in stasis. Move your vehicle away. They'll be here soon. Shoot him? And for what? For murdering half a dozen people. He didn't do it, Chief. The Goda did. His name is Erp. No, it's not. That's my husband, Ted. He's not well. No, it's Erp. He's borrowed Ted's body. He captured the Goda. He saved us. He saved the whole Earth. All he wants is a few hours to repair his ship and leave in peace. Tammy, I'll shoot if I have to. Now get out of the way! This is police business! It is our business, Dawson. Ours. All of us. Humans. This traveler from another world spared us from an unspeakable catastrophe. We don't just live on a planet. We live in a universe. A big universe. And it's filled with ice planets and spaceships and, and worlds with other beings, like Earp. It's a place of unimaginable beauty and wonder, and it's there for us to explore. So what are we gonna do? Stay cooped up in our little towns and our little lives and end up as small, frightened puddles of our own making? Please, don't make this any worse, Chief Dawson. Let him repair his ship and leave. All right, Marshal Earp. I'll let you off this time with a warning. Fix your uh, spaceship and... and keep your goats off our planet. You got that? We apologize for this trespass. We had feared landing on Earth because our intelligence indicated that you were a pathetically primitive life form. What? But I've seen that you are more than this. You possess determination, resourcefulness, and uncommon courage. You will need these qualities to survive the dangers that await and challenge an awakening world. This spaceship will depart at sunrise. Be advised to stand clear. Erp. Erp thanks you for your assistance. Will I, will I ever see you again? That is unknowable. I'll miss you. 
Earp will miss Tammy. Tammy? Earp would seek this polarity with you if Earp was a human. But I still do not understand it. Goodbye, Tammy. I have a long journey to make. So do I. Goodbye, Earp. Ted! I am not Ted. Ted will be returned momentarily. I had a pipe. Okay, Dr. Lewis? Uh, yes, I think so. Good. Good. Just try not to steal any more cars, okay? Yeah. What happened? All, all I remember was that I was here, and now I'm here. What on earth am I wearing? <laughs> I'll tell you all about it, darling. Later. Hey, Code, why the long face? Can you dig this, cats? I didn't even bring the camera. No one will ever believe it. What's the matter, Code? We're alive, and we've had the adventure of a lifetime. <laughs>